Okay, down back here. I'm not sure what's going to happen on my boot this time, so I thought I'd get started here before it came up. There's my SROC boot screen. I'm going to try to boot to easy to boot with the helper USB flash drive so that I could install Windows 7. Okay, so that didn't do anything. But what it's been doing, I put that uh, menu list file on there hoping that it would... Uh, make it work. But uh, Sardu's controlling it here. It's not... Uh, I'm going to hit boot from hard drive just to see what happens. I think it'll go into that Windows. Yeah, even it's trying to boot from that first hard drive, which has nothing on it. That's the one I want to install to. Hit control all delete <coughs> getting tired and I'm getting I don't I'm tired now and I, I'll, even if I get it to boot into there I'm not going to do the install today now but uh, I wanted to see if it was going to work I want to make it to where it'll work before I quit but I may I may have to quit tools okay super verb disk I want to try the Super Grub Disc 2 again, just to see if I could... Okay, welcome to... Okay, free magic is broken. I don't think it's working. And the disc image seems to have a fractal end cylinder. So it seems to be broken. Yep. It's broken. I've seen it work on a Sardu disc before. I thought, yeah, because that's that's who that it came with Sardu. I didn't put it on there. I don't know why it's broken though. <coughs> so if I put it on the other one, I'd probably be the same problem. The other one has Yummy on it and some other st stuff on there. It doesn't do any good to go into plop. It just just hangs it up. Super Grub Disk 1, I call it 1 and 2 now because it used to just be Super Grub Disk, but anyway, it, uh, Super Grub Disk 2 will, will work with Grub 2, but it will only just boot them. That's why I was trying to use it. Super Grub Disk Regular 1 will uh, actually work on it and fix it. Well, you can choose to just, let's see, choose. <coughs> Easy live swap. I don't want to run any, uh, you know, change. I don't want to do any writing to anything, to my hard drives or anything. I was thinking you could choose just like, just boot in there, not repair. Oh, Grub MBR. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that Grub Two MB. You know, put. Can't remember now. One of those will actually put it on there. And, Linux, Win, MBR, Win, Easy Live Swap. I can't remember. I'm not going to try it. That was the one, uh, the first uh, grub fixing app I ever used, and it was, it was pretty good, but sometimes it wouldn't work. Now there's another one that seems to work a little better. And it's pretty. It's e even easier to use because you don't have to read through all those menu uh, te uh, text in the console. Okay, so I don't think I got anything in here that can help me. Flop didn't help. So, I think I'll go, whoops, I hit reboot. I was going to say I'll hit shut down and let the machine kind of shut down in a normal fashion instead of with the power button and then try it and see if that's got something to do with it. Because I did have to, uh, you know, 
get the, uh, didn't I? I can't remember now for the last time I booted if I had to do the, uh, I was just did that again anyway. Yeah, there's not a shutdown menu in here at all. Okay. Antivirus in here. I haven't looked in these in a while. I'll see what's in here. Okay, I have a Vira. And what do I have in Linux? Fedora Security 64 bit and Netboot Core Plus for installing. Okay. So, all I've really managed to do is fool around all day and I'm just filling up what's left in my phone. <coughs> I shut you down. <coughs> so, I'm going to turn it off. I uh, don't know what to do. I'll have to think on it and figure it out. All right, bye.